Hello and welcome. I'm James, your host for Guitars for Bars, a YouTube channel dedicated to materials and techniques to help you create your own special guitar or convince you to buy one of mine. I will be building or refurbishing guitars made for the average musician wanting an average guitar that looks and sounds above average. I will demonstrate minor repairs, modifications to factory brand name guitars as well as kit guitars. I will cover all the materials I use and why I use them. I am not sponsored by, paid by, nor provided free stuff by any of the product companies which I use, but I won't turn it down if they offer. I will cover stripping, modifying, sealing, priming, base coat, color sanding, graphics, clear coating, finish sanding, and buffing, plus any other useful tips I can come up with. As a disclaimer, I must say that I am not schooled in auto body, nor am I a qualified luthier. I've been messing with guitars since high school. I learned by trial and error magazines and help from my friend George. That being said, these guitars are not high-end, top shelf, behind the glass, locked in a cabinet guitars. They are working man guitars, built to look good, sound good, and play good enough for bar gigs or any other outdoor events or in, where you're going to be around people where they might get messed up. If you've ever played in a small tavern without a stage, you'll understand when a drunk comes up slopping his beer everywhere yelling, play some Leonard Skinner! You don't want to be standing there with your $2,000 custom Les Paul. So I will be using high quality automotive finishes as well as Walmart hardware store brands for super cheap, super neat paint jobs on a budget. There will be airbrush graphics, uh, hand painted graphics, a sparkle, and maybe some carving. I know some are going to say, you can't use that kind of paint on a guitar. I'm talking about the acrylic urethane. My answer to that is, watch me. Okay, these aren't $12,000 instruments. We're talking about guitars worth less than $500. Uh, oh, that paint will change the sound. Well, it's not going to change the sound in a bad way on a $200 guitar. Uh, and we're going to put good pickups in after it's done, and you'll see how good it sounds when it's all finished. Uh, I will demonstrate the guitar before and after as much as I can. So if I get one in that's that's bad, then I'm going to redo. I'll plug it in. We'll play it. We'll see how bad it is. And then we'll fix it all up, put new pickups in it and all that, and plug it in and see how good it is at the end. I do this in my spare time. I also print t-shirts. So please visit my website, cluckyduck.com, for more info on that. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll get new videos up as fast as I can. And before I go, I'm going to just show you a couple of little things here. This is Rust-Oleum Lacquer. I've uh, been working on this. I've got to sand it yet and give it a couple more coats because you can see what a mess it looks like. If you've seen some of the other videos out there of folks doing their guitars, I'm sure you've seen finishes not much different than that on them. And what you want is a finish that's going to be slick and glass-like. So real quick here, Rust-Oleum Lacquer over acrylic paint with some glitter. Eh, not bad. And I've also got Rust-Oleum two times coverage clear and this uh, Nason stuff, which DuPont makes. Uh, nah, they're, they're not the best either. You guys will see what it's supposed to look like in one of the upcoming videos when I show, show off some of the stuff I've already done. Okay, and besides guitars, well, we got this one here. We're working on this one. Here's a modification. These things are too pointy, stick out too far, and the strap button used to be here. This thing was neck heavy. You put it on, boom, boom, boom. So I moved the strap button. Now it's going to balance real good. It's got a crack down here because it got dropped. So I've got to split that open, stick some glue in there, and clamp that all closed. Then we're going to strip this down and airbrush it, and it is going to be awesome. And once in a while, we'll do some weird things like this coffin I got out of the trash. We're going to take this apart, strip it down, put it back together, and turn it into a really cool whiskey cabinet. Okay, that's coming up. We'll do that sometime this summer. All right, other than that, God bless you. May the Lord keep you safe and have a great day.